So both cars are fully charged at 100%. Uh, they haven't been preconditioned, but I mean, maybe they, they kind of are because they just finished supercharging. So I, I would imagine the batteries are a little warm. Uh, nevertheless, the cabins are cold. We're just going to hop inside and go for a drive. We're going to be doing highway for half of the drive. And the other half is going to be done in the city. And we'll see what the difference in range is between an LFP rear wheel drive and the dual motor. So it shouldn't be much of a difference, but I guess we'll find out which one's better for overall driving and maybe road tripping. Let's go. As this finished, uh, that one dropped to 99%. And we plugged it back in. It drew like half a kilowatt and then it stopped and it went back up to 100%. And then, now we're about to set off, his dropped to 99% again. So, I don't know, kind of interesting. It wasn't, <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on there. It doesn't like, I guess, uh, you know, the dual motors really don't like sitting at 100% maybe. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what kind of distance we can, uh, we can do until mine drops to 99%. So, you know, let's find out. It's taken us 12 kilometers to get here. Uh, my average consumption is 14.9 kilowatts per 100 kilometers, so that's 148 watt hours per kilometer. And the dual motor over there is at 16.1, so it's a little bit higher, but not much of a difference. Uh, realistically, around 10%. Now, my state of charge is 98%, while the dual motor is at 96%. That's a little weird if you ask me because that battery so we've we've done the same distance right we've we've driven 12 kilometers in the same exact conditions one behind another i have a much smaller battery yet he seems to have dropped an extra two percent compared to my 98 percent. so that is interesting that's it's a very interesting result um i guess we'll see what we end up with when we get off the highway by the way, both cars are at 21.5 degrees interior temperature. Um, like I said before, the, the tires are the same, the same uh, aero caps on the wheels. And uh, the PSI pressure for both of them is at 2.9. So everything is as equal as it gets. We ourselves are twins and we weigh more or less about the same, give or take one or two kilograms. Uh, we're going to be driving them at 130 kilometers an hour locked on the highway. We're going to keep a distance between us so aero doesn't doesn't make a difference. And yeah, we'll you know we'll, we'll get back to it and see what we get um, in a couple of minutes. So we're still at 130 kilometers an hour. It's been about 15 minutes of driving. Um, interesting developments well i'm not sure if it's a development but nevertheless we're at 87 percent it just clicked over to 86. Uh, this is for the lfp rear wheel drive version the interesting part is that the dual motor is also at 87 percent which makes little to no sense because again the battery is much larger and the technology itself uh, for the battery is, is different it's meant to be better in cold temperatures. So I'm not exactly sure what is happening right now. Uh, I know for sure this is the not the BYD battery, the new batteries that are made from Germany. This particular car came from China, from Shanghai, and it has the LFP battery. Um, so yeah, this is quite interesting. I am currently at 78% charge, while the dual motor is at 79% charge. So the, the difference in, uh, in range isn't all that, not that big, at least right now, it doesn't seem to be that big. We'll see when we finish. Uh, in terms of fuel efficiency or you know, uh, consumption, I am at 20.6, so 206 watt hours per kilometer, while the dual motor is at 237 watt hours per kilometer. So there's a bit of a difference in between them, not huge, but it does, they do seem to be quite evenly matched, at least for now. We're gonna continue, we'll keep going and see what happens when we get off the highway. But they seem to be relatively close in terms of uh, range right now. Okay, so now we're just pulling off the highway, um, just off the off-ramp. 
and I have 63% state of charge while the dual motor has 66. So that's 3% more. We have traveled 89 kilometers total of highway at 130 kilometers an hour. And my, my energy consumption is 207 watt hours per kilometer versus the dual motor at 234 watt hours per kilometer. So a bit of a difference. Um, to be honest, slightly unexpected. I, I was expecting the dual motor to pull farther ahead. But yeah, the, you know, the percentages are very, very close together. Okay, so we entered the city. We're just about to slow down. We're gonna hit traffic. And we reset the trip A. So we're gonna know exactly uh, how much each of them use in the city in normal day-to-day -day driving. While highway tests are useful, yes. Uh, you know, most of us use the use these cars in the city. So that's a little bit more useful information, I guess. Okay, so uh, I'm at 57% battery and we've done a total of 20 kilometers in the city now and my average consumption is 125 watt hours per kilometer. Alex, what do you have? Okay, so I'm at 61% battery right now and uh, I've done 141 watt hours per kilometer. So there's a bit of a difference. About 10% I would say, maybe a bit more, but I also have a lot more horsepower, so there's that. All right, okay, so, All right, okay. so it seems like there is a bit of a difference and uh, the dual motor seems to be pulling away slightly, like uh, he mentioned he's at 61%, I'm at 57 so that's 4% difference in range. If you were to, because you know we're close to 50%, by the time we uh, we get back home, we are going to be probably at 50%, and then we'll see exactly what the difference in percentage was. So realistically, it does look like it has a 10% advantage over the rear-wheel drive. So a, a bit far off from the claimed 110 kilometer difference. So the, realistically, the WLTP for this is 450. WLTP for the uh, for the dual motor is 560 or 555, but 110. That's the difference. 110 kilometers. Uh, but from the looks of it, I think it's uh, closer to half of that. So there's not there's not quite 110 kilometers difference in between them. But nevertheless, uh, we'll we'll find out when we uh, when we pull over. Okay, so what do we have here? So we finished the day on 53% charge. Uh, just for the city driving, we've done 35 kilometers at 132 watt hours per kilometer. So that's actually pretty good, pretty decent. And since we last charged, so this includes the, the highway test, we have an average of 183 watt hours per kilometer and that's for the full distance of 143 kilometers since we last charged let's have a look and see what the dual motor finished on okay so we are on 58 percent charge so four percent difference uh, in terms of uh, state of charge we have city driving at 153 watt hours per kilometer so a bit of a difference and a total average of 207 watt hours per kilometer so this is the total average since we fully charged them so realistically 
if we were to continue run them down until zero we would most likely get a 10% difference in between them so uh, the dual motor does indeed have 10% more range um, that still wouldn't get it close to the WLTP difference which is 110 kilometers this would make it around 50 at best so 50 kilometers difference between them between the rear wheel drive and the dual motor uh, the temperature now has gone up to three degrees I do wonder how they would do in the summer We'll, we'll repeat the test once it gets over, I don't know, 15, 20 degrees Celsius. So we have an idea how the cars do at their peak, at their best. So in the end, if you decide to go with, uh, you know, with uh, a dual mode over the rear wheel drive, you know, most likely that decision would be down to the performance aspect and not so much the range. So that's the end of the video. Uh, hopefully this answered a few questions. If you want us to do any more tests, let us know in the video what you would like us to do with these. Um, compare them in, in various different ways. The rear wheel drive is actually fairly rare as, uh, as far as model wise go. So yeah, let us know which one you would pick. Which one would you prefer and why? Would you pick it for the power or the range? Right, till next time, bye.